Ho, 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 it's the Santa of Switch, descending for some last minute deals in case you need to grab a stocking stuffer for somebody or for yourself or need advice on how to use that eShop gift card your grandma got you for Christmas. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I thought the deals were done, but Nintendo has put together one of their best sales ever and there are hundreds of games. I'm covering the best ones. I figured I'd do something different and give you guys my top 10 sales that you gotta grab and then throw in a bunch of other channel favorites. So we're gonna roll through some awesome deals that might help you finish your shopping last minute. It's Christmas Eve. Hope everybody's having a safe, fun, fantastic time. Let me know in the comments down below what game you want to grab from this list, away we go. Number 10, because I'm doing my top 10 and then a whole bunch of other great deals, is Super Meat Boy. $5.99, 60% off till January 2nd. Most of these games are on sale till January 2nd. It's the lowest price it's been. They just dropped Super Meat Boy forever, but the OG Meat Boy is down to $6, and that's a fantastic game. It's challenging, but it's beatable, and all the little meats running around as you look at your attempts is a beautiful sight, just a ton of charm, and you will be a platforming pro by the end of this one, then you can carry your skills over to the new Super Meat Boy Forever, which is a lot of fun. I've been playing that, probably a video coming soon. Or you can move to Celeste, or you can just be the master of Mario, because Mario is definitely not as challenging or bloody as Super Meat Boy. Number nine is gonna be Skulls the Shogun Bonafide Edition for $4.99, 75% off till January the 2nd. The lowest price it's ever been, a phenomenal multiplayer game. Me and Jake used to play this asynchronously on my Windows Surface all the time, and now it's on Switch. It's a phenomenal game with online play and local play. It's got a synchronous multiplayer, and it's just a great little tactical strategy game where you build up your little skull armies, move around these gorgeous Japanese landscapes with beautiful hand-drawn paintbrush art, and then do these little board game style battles. It's great, and at five bucks, you're gonna get so much out of it. Tumble Seed is an oddity. I bet most of you haven't played it. It released along the early, early, early era Switch titles. It's $4.94, 67% off till January 2nd, the lowest it's been, and they have made big strides. The game used to be nearly impossible, and they've reduced the difficulty. They've added two-player battle modes. There's all these cute little tumble seeds as you move them up and down these pinball style boards. It feels like one of those board games or toys you had at your grandma's house where you try to navigate the marble through the maze without it falling in the hole, except a lot more colorful, a lot of power-ups, big bosses, and a whole lot more. This game is absolutely amazing, even if it is totally quirky and terribly difficult. Next up is Cuphead at number seven, and it's a just a doozy of a co-op game, but I prefer it solo. You're facing off against these old-timey cartoon enemies, a boss rush game with so much pizzazz and quite a bit of difficulty. It's not the lowest price ever, but I still recommend it highly at $13.99, 30% off till January 2nd. The DLC got delayed till next year, but the original game still packs such a punch. You get to fight a roller coaster, enough said. Number six is Crawl, another underrated game you may never have heard of. Phenomenal local multiplayer. Crawl is $4.49, that's 70% off till January 2nd, the lowest it's been. Imagine a dungeon dive where as soon as you die, you get to play the bad guys and level up your evil army to assault the other players until one remains. Somebody even gets to be the boss at the end, maybe even all three of you. It is a fantastically unique experience. I love the ebb and flow, the back and forth. Once you get enough kills, you can return to be the hero, and then you're trying to survive only to be succumbed by the villains and the monsters. Again, build up your baddie army, gain XP, grow, and then retake control and sneak out a last second win. This game never got enough praise. It's so freaking good. Number five is gonna be Rogue Legacy, 509 for the price. That puts it down 66% off till January 2nd. What a title. They're working on Rogue Legacy 2 in early access on Steam. Hopefully that comes to Switch when it hits 1.0. But right now, Rogue Legacy is a game about quirky characters diving into a roguelike dungeon. And it's just, it's so much fun. The combat feels very, very precise. It's challenging and difficult. And there's such good meta progress. Every run gets you more coins to upgrade your village, upgrade your characters, up upgrade your passives, upgrade your actives, and then there's the thing where you get a new son or daughter every time the lineage continues and they have some weird quirk like they fart a lot or they walk upside down or they can't see. It's quite amazing. 
Number four is Mark of the Ninja Remastered down to $4.99, 75% off till January 2nd. This game was phenomenally popular in the days of Xbox Live Arcade, Summer of Arcade. Remember those summers? Maybe not, maybe you do, but you should remember Mark of the Ninja, a phenomenal game. It's all about stealth. This is from Clay, the people who more famously brought you Don't Starve, but Mark of the Ninja is probably their best game. Like it's near perfect as an indie stealth title. I love it. The art, the, the, the sneakies, the, the super moves you have, the way that you work through these beautiful landscapes and worlds. It's just a wonderful time and it's going to be one of the best things you play in 2020, even though it came out long ago. Grab it if you haven't for under $5. Number three is Forager, $13.99, 30% off till January 2nd. I love this game. It got me through some airport delays back at a time when I traveled in 2019 and it's such a just really addictive good little game where you're kind of actively doing a whole lot of nothing to improve your little island. And that sounds boring at first blush. The graphics are very basic, but I promise you, this is so much more than a clicker. And there are tons of upgrades you can acquire and shape your character and your island and your world as you see fit. It's a lot of crafting, a lot of gathering, a lot of collecting, a lot of fighting. Uh, it's, it's some puzzles, some secrets, dungeons. It's so good. The guy made such a fantastic game. It's 171 megabytes, but you'll probably have 171 hours of fun. Number two is SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh for $12.49, 50% off the lowest it's been till January 2nd. I don't think this game will ever get enough love. You know how much of a fan I am of the SteamWorld series and this is their best game. It is a card battling, build your deck, slay the spire meets SteamWorld type title with constant upgrades, new characters, party like an RPG, beautiful art, and just a ton of fun. Epic boss battles and just so much goodness. They're constantly feeding you more and more and more. And it's my favorite deck builder in video game form I've ever played. You have to, you just trust me on this, okay? Trust me, at 50% off, it is going to be one of your favorite Switch titles. I, I love it so much. Can't wait to see what SteamWorld does next. And number one, how do you even get higher than SteamWorld, is Kunai. Probably my favorite indie of 2020 on Nintendo Switch. It came out very early in the year. It's 8.49, 50% off till January 2nd. But this February release is so much freaking fun. And it starts with the gorgeous color palette. Very Game Boy-esque with these muted tones and pastel looks. But it's got such an amazing Metroidvania platform with awesome controls, amazing vertical movement traversal, such fantastic flow, rewarding combat that fills your health, epic boss battles that are tried and true and traditional, and a cute little story because you're a computer. Again, enough said, you gotta grab this game. Those are my top 10 picks, but there's still so much more fun to have, and we're gonna roll through this quick because there's a ton. I picked out my favorites and the ones I think are worth your money. But make sure to look on the eShop because there's literally hundreds of games. Slay the Spire, $14.99. That's 40% off till January 2nd. Phenomenal deck builder. Roguelike mix. Ugly art, but the game is so good you won't even think twice. Ring of Pain is a great game in the vein of Slay the Spire. Down to $14.99, 25% off till January 2nd. And this game is recent on Switch. It's a fantastic card game with a new twist. It's less of a deck builder and more of a dungeon diver, but still with cards. Interesting concept, unique art. I like it a lot. We've got Darksiders Genesis. You know I'm partial to this game. It's not the lowest price it's ever been, but it's $23.99 and I still really, really like it. That does make it 40% off till January 1st. It can be played co-op. It can also be played lonely co-op. You control two characters, war and strife, do work in a Diablo-style puzzle-filled top-down adventure that looks good, plays better, and is even more fun. The other Darksiders are on sale as well. Darksiders 1 for $11.99 and 2 for $11.99. But let's move to Risk of Rain 2, which has seen its lowest price ever at 50% off till January 13th. $12.49, a fantastic co-op shooter with roguelike elements. It's really fun. They've added a bunch of stuff, new characters, new enemies, new worlds. Grab it. You're going to enjoy yourself. It does have online play. And I believe it has local, but don't quote me on it. It might be online only. I'm not sure, but it's really, really good. And it's really, really fun. Bug Fables, Everlasting Sapling. It's basically old school Paper Mario, but now it's down to 30% off the lowest it's been, 1749 till January 2nd. A lot of fun, charming, old school Paper Mario. Hades, you know it. You probably already love it, but if you don't have it, it's 1999. That does put it at 20% off till January 2nd. Game of the year for a lot of publications, and uh, you know, it's not my favorite, but I understand it, rightfully so. Lego City Undercover, 899, open world Lego action. They've never done it better. This one's originally unique, doesn't rely on a property, and has so much old school Lego charm. 70% off till January the 1st. Mortal Kombat 11. 
is not on sale right now, but the Ultimate Pack is, and so is the Aftermath expansion for 20 bucks. That's 50% off if you want to grab new characters and a big new story expansion. Mortal Kombat 11, one of the best games on Switch, one of the best ports. I like it a lot. You got City of Brass for $2.99. This is a quirky game from senior Bioshock developers. It's like Aladdin, but first person, and a lot more violent. It's 85% off till January the 5th. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, $20.99. This is the lowest it's been, 30% off till January 1st. First, I've heard some good things. It's a SpongeBob platformer. Maybe you and your younger sister are enough you want to play. Layers of Fear Legacy, a very, very interesting survival horror game. I'm not the biggest fan of these. You know, Amnesia's on sale. I didn't put it on the list, but I do like what Layers of Fear does, manipulating the environments and your mind. It's $3.99, 80% off till January 6th, the lowest it's been. Bomb Chicken is something I've always wanted to check out and have not. It's like Bomberman meets Mega Man meets a chicken. $7.49. That's half off till January the 5th, the lowest it's been. Kingdom Rush Frontiers. All the Kingdom Rush games are on sale. This one's $5.49. It's my pick of the bunch. I guess you could still say that's pricey, but it does look good on Switch on the bigger screen as compared to like your iPhone. And I think these games are great tower defense titles with cute art and adorable towers. Amazing action. Get it if you can. Bulletstorm Duke of Switch Edition is $7.49. That puts it at 75% off the lowest it's been till January 13th. This is Bulletstorm, a shooter with ridiculous over-the-top kills, a score system that is addictive and engaging, and a lot of crass humor, language, and violence. Also, Duke Nukem's involved. We've got Rico for 10 bucks, the Gabe pick of the week, 50% off till January 2nd, a co-op shooter that reminds us a lot of Payday. It's not perfect, but it's fun, and they've added things along the way. Hypercharge Unboxed, you know, this is my indie darling with those awesome developers. They've improved the game so much. It's Toy Story meets Call of Duty, $13.99. That puts it at 30% off till January 2nd. It's totally worth a pickup. You got Machinarium, a classic point and click from the fine folks at Amanita Design, 374. That puts it at 75% off the lowest it's been till January 2nd. Quirky, charming, clever, not so long, you'll love it. Creeks is their newer game, $11.99, that's why you see the price increase. It is 40% off though, the lowest it's been till January 2nd, and I want to play it. I got to buy this one, so you'll see me there. Superland is a Metroidvania with really cool art. It seems like a Stickman game that would be terrible. It rose the ranks on Steam and now it rises the ranks on Switch. It's $15.99, 20% off till January 2nd. I think you will enjoy it a lot. To the Moon, a game that PewDiePie cried over. $8.39, 30% off till January 2nd. It's a point and click. Uh, well, it's more of like a story driven RPG, I guess. Not really point and click. Take that back. It's a story driven RPG experience. I'm just running through these games so fast, you gotta forgive me. My mind is to the moon, but it's worth the play. Star Renegades is new. I haven't played it yet, but I've heard so many good things. 1874, 25% off. It is an RPG, turn-based, tactical. That puts it at 25% off till January 2nd, and I totally think it's worth the look, especially with that absolutely gorgeous art style. So much pink. I love it. A Short Hike, a game that I have but have not gotten a chance to play. It's really recommended. It's a short title, 20% off, 6.39 till January 3rd, the lowest it's been. I've just heard that this is a really heartwarming adventure, and in a busy, crazy, chaotic year, maybe that's what we all need. You got Inside, one of my favorite indies of all time. The people that did Limbo did it even better in Inside. 6.79, that's 66% off till January 2nd. That ending will stick with you forever, I promise. You need to play it just for the ending. Guacamelee 2, $5.99, combat as a luchador, fantastic combo building, amazing art, and engaging action. There's co-op, but it's better solo. Get this one for $5.99, 70% off till January the 2nd. You know how much I love Little Nightmares? The sequel drops in February right before Mario 3D World. That's going to be a phenomenal week, but you can get the original, the complete edition, for $7.49, 75% off till January 2nd. It is atmospheric. It is intense. There are evil Muppets chasing you around a ship. It's very tactile. You're tiny. You're vulnerable but it's so fun. Golf Story, Sports Story delayed, Golf Story is still here. 749, it's golf but RPG, and it does what Mario Golf did by Camelot on the Game Boy, now on the Switch without Mario. So maybe it's not as good, but it's still charming. Can't wait for Sports Story. This one is 749, 50% off until January the 2nd. Liberated, 679, that puts it at 66% off the lowest it's been until January 2nd. Action adventure game set in a comic book with some cyberpunk dystopian governmental action storyline. Great reviews, great game, get it. Murder by Numbers, okay? It's Phoenix Wright art and, and story meets Picross meets Murder Mystery. I mean, that sounds amazing. 10.04, 33% off till January 2nd. I enjoyed it. Spirit Fair, 22.49, one I haven't played. There's a lot of dark death themes here, so maybe you don't want to play it. But it's described as a cozy management game as you guide these spirits to the afterlife. It's not the biggest discount. It's 25% off till January 2nd, the lowest it's ever been. Eichenfeld, another game I want to grab. I've heard a lot of good things about this 
RPG. Uh, it's troublesome magic students, and there are timing mechanics which remind me of Paper Mario. It's down to $15.99, 20% off till January 2nd. I'm gonna get it, maybe you should too. Helheim Hassel about a guy who lost his head, $13.99, 30% off till January 2nd. What more do I need to say? Puzzle platforming, uh, combining your limbs, working to use your uh, decapitated body to get past um, all sorts of puzzles, 14 levels, and you're a pacifist viking. What a great concept. Windjammers, fantastic arcade action. Me and my best friend Jono played this all the time as kids, $5.99. The sequel is supposed to come out sometime soon. It got delayed, but in the meantime, 60% off till January 2nd, the lowest it's been. Phenomenal game. If you got sort of chops for, for old school sports titles that have like a lot of charm, superpowers, unique characters, and just, it's like ping pong, but with a disc. Come on. A Hat in Time, $20.99. I don't like this game, but a lot of people love it. 30% off, wanted to include it. Lowest price since ever, January 2nd. It's basically like a collectathon, um, but done more modern, 3D platformer, you know the drill. Time Spinner, Metroidvania, really good one, $9.99. I like this a lot, so does Gabe, 50% off till January 2nd, the lowest it's been. And we end on Round Guard, 10 bucks. It is Peggle, but done differently and meets kind of like a dungeon crawler, roguelike style. It's very, very clever. $9.99, 50% off till the last day of the year, December 31st, the lowest it's been. This will be our last sale of the year. So many good games. Don't even need to give you my top titles because I gave you the top 10 at the start. I really recommend Kunai, Steamworld Quest, Forager, Mark of the Ninja, Rogue Legacy, Crawl, Cuphead, Tumble Seeds, Charles the Skogon, and Super Meat Boy. Hope you guys are able to grab some of these. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Let me know what game you're grabbing in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next year for the sales, but I'll see you soon for more videos. Until that time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Now go enjoy your families in the holiday. Switch Force, out.